Hello everyone, and welcome to Up and Running, playing with Power MTG's deck tech series that helps you get up and running with a new deck as soon as possible. This series will teach you how to pilot the deck, main win cons, strengths and weaknesses, key card choices, mulligans, what to watch out for, and how to stop it if you're against it. Today's deck is Selvala, Heart of the Wilds. This deck, called Selvala Bro Storm, is a big mana combo deck that uses Selvala's ability to storm off with big creatures and win the game very quickly. So, let's dive right in. This deck is a proactive deck, meaning it seeks to find its win cons as soon as possible. It is very common to win with this deck on turns 3 and 4. You will like this deck if you like ramp, like monocolored decks, like casting a lot of spells per turn, like using your commander, prefer creatures over spells, and like playing with a lot of cards not commonly seen in most CEDH decks. But before we go any further, let's talk about our commander, Salvala. Salvala, Heart of the Wilds, is 1 and 2 green for a 2-3 legendary elf scout that reads, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, its controller may draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. It also has a mana ability that reads, pay green and tap to add X mana in any combination of color to your mana pool, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. The main strategy of this deck is to leverage Selvala's abilities, in conjunction with large undercosted creatures, to draw cards and generate large amounts of mana to keep digging to find our win cons. So, let's talk about how we can achieve big mana. The main thing that sets Selvala apart is her ability to generate large amounts of mana from her second ability. When using this in conjunction with undercosted, powerful creatures, we create an immense amount of mana to do what we need to do. This deck runs a suite of large creatures that let us draw a card whenever it enters through Selvala, and enables us to get maximum advantage from Selvala's mana ability. Looping Prototype and Sheltering Ancient only cost 2 and lets us tap for 5. Phyrexian Soul Gorger costs 3 and Hunted Troll costs 4 and let us tap for 8. Then there is the MVP of big mana for the deck, and that is Phyrexian Dreadnought. This card is a 12-12 artifact dreadnought for only one generic mana. Its aggressive cost is supposed to be balanced by its downside, which reads, when Phyrexian Dreadnought enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you sacrifice any number of creatures with total power 12 or greater. So, you cast and resolve the Dreadnought. You draw a card through Selvala, and with its ETB ability on the stack, you tap Selvala for 12 mana, then sacrifice it to itself. Once you've resolved these creatures, you now have big creatures to use, but we don't really swing with them. Instead, we leverage them for mana and trade them in for cards. We have a number of big draw spells that let us continue our storm turns by leveraging the power of these creatures. This includes cards like Momentous Fall, Return of the Wildspeaker, Life's Legacy, Soul's Majesty, and Rishkar's Expertise. So we have the ability to storm on our turns and draw a lot of cards, but we need a way to close out the game quickly. We need infinite mana and infinite draws to win. So how do we do that? We can leverage Selvala's mana ability to let us get infinite mana, but we need a certain number of power on the board to do so. If we have at least six power on the board, we can use the three card combo of Teamer Sabertooth, Wirewood Symbiote, and any one converted mana cost elf to go infinite. Tap Selvala for six. Use Wirewood's ability to return an elf to your hand and untap Selvala. Use Teamer Sabertooth's ability to return Wirewood to your hand. Recast both. This will net you two remaining mana and you'll return your board state back to its original position. You sink one mana back into activating Selvala and repeat the loop. Each iteration will net one mana. If we have at least nine power on board, we can use the combo of Eternal Witness, Teamer Sabertooth, and Benefactor's Drought. Tap Selvala for eight. Cast Benefactor's Drought to untap all creatures, including Selvala. Cast Eternal Witness, getting back Benefactor's Drought from the graveyard. Use Teamer Sabertooth to return Eternal Witness to your hand. You net one mana with each iteration of the loop. Great Oak Guardian works in a very similar way and with 10 power on the board. Simply cast the Guardian, untap Salvala, return the Guardian with Sabertooth, and repeat. Some other combo enablers use artifacts like Umber Mantle and Staff of Domination. With Staff of Domination and at least 6 power on the board, you can tap Salvala for mana, pay 3 to untap Salvala through the Staff, then pay 1 to untap the Staff, then rinse and repeat. With Umber Mantle and at least 5 power on the board, you can equip Mantle to Salvala, tap to add 4 mana, use 3 of it to untap Salvala. 
use the remaining to retap Salvala for mana. This will net you zero mana on the first and second iterations, but Umbral mana will make Salvala grow with every iteration, giving her plus two plus two. After the third iteration, she will be big enough to start netting you mana, and you can repeat to go infinite. Now that we have infinite mana, we need to draw our deck and go for the win. Teamer Sabretooth allows us to recast all kinds of creatures. If you have creatures that draw cards like Voice of Many or Regal Force, simply return them and recast them. If you have the greatest power on board already, simply return whatever creature that might be and recast it, triggering Silvala's draw ability. Staff of Domination also works with infinite mana. Pay 5 to tap and draw a card, and pay 1 to untap the staff. So how do you win? There are a number of lines of play available once you have infinite mana. Finale of Devastation will let you pull out every creature in your deck and make them massive and give them haste. Simply cast it, then use Eternal Witness plus Team or Sabertooth to cast it over and over. You can recur Beast Within in the same way with Eternal Witness and Team or Sabertooth. You can destroy every one of your opponent's permanents, then use Somberwald Stag to loop it and kill all of your opponent's beasts. You can then cast Beast Within on any of your own permanents to get back both Beast Within and your permanent that you destroyed then recast both. This will give you infinite beasts and leave your opponents with no permanence whatsoever. Pass the turn and win on your following turn or cast a large finale to make them massive and give them all haste. There are a number of creature tutors available in the deck that allow you to get the key cards you need. Cards like Worldly Tutor, Summoner's Pact, Shared Summons, Tooth and Nail, and Weird Harvest can fetch up what we need. Make sure that if you're using Weird Harvest to win on the turn you cast it, be careful of certain creatures opponents might tutor up, such as Notion Thief or even Mind Sensor. Now you know how the deck works, let's talk about piloting the deck. Ideally, you'll want to get Salvalo out on turn two, so any sort of ramp should be able to do this. You'll also want to look for some sort of big creature or pump spell to make your creatures bigger. An untapper or win con in the opener is ideal as well. Get Salvala on the board ASAP, turn one or turn two. You'll want to start getting established for your winning turn and Salvala is usually the crux of that line. Seek to win if you can. Once Salvala is online, play your big creatures and start storming looking for your win cons. If you already have them in hand, make sure you can win the turn you cast them. If disrupted, seek to rebuild and retry for the win. Big Mana is the name of the game with this deck and it won't be hard to recast Salvala if she gets destroyed. So now you know how the deck works, so what should you watch out for? Also, if you are against this deck, what should you pack against it? Salvala's strength lies in her ability to make big mana, so shutting off mana abilities through things like Cursed Totem or Linvala Keeper of Silence shuts off the deck. Salvala's combos rely on repeatedly looping and recasting spells. Cards like Arcane Laboratory, Eidolon of Rhetoric, and Rule of Law all stop most of Salvala's combos. Salvala draws a lot of cards, so interaction that limits Salvala's ability to draw slow down the deck. Look out for effects like Narset, Parter of Veils, Notion Thief, and Spirit of the Labyrinth. This deck relies on Salvala most of the time, so good old fashioned removal will disrupt the plan. Counter magic, creature removal, and bounce effects all work well. Make sure you check out the primer located in the description for full details on piloting the deck as well as additional lines and matchup guides. We also recommend a number of our gameplay videos to see it in action. The links are also in the description. A big thanks to the curators of this deck for piloting, testing, and creating the primer, budget guides, and mulligan guides for this deck. What are your thoughts on Solvala? What deck would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.